Hello everyone, my name is Hang Nguyen. I am currently a PhD candidate at Victoria University of Wellington. I'm very happy to be a part of the Alliance Symposium 2020. My presentation today will focus on comparing and evaluating to published lists of academic collocations. Here is the outline of my talk. I will in turn answer the following questions. What are academic collocations? What published lists of academic collocations are there? In what ways might we compare and evaluate lists? How do we make a decision between the lists? And finally, concluding remarks. I want to begin by giving a definition of academic collocations. Academic collocations are defined as two word units that learners could encounter in a wide range of registers and disciplines. Some examples are key elements, empirical evidence, etc. Academic collocations are important because they are the most frequent multi word units in academic texts, and they are typically the building blocks of larger multi word units. Academic collocations can be divided into lexical collocations and grammatical collocations. The former refers to combinations of two content words, such as significant difference or research evidence. The latter are combinations that contain at least one non-lexical element, such as based on or this study, etc. There are several published lists of academic collocations, but in this presentation, I would like to focus on two lists of Ekman and Chen in 2013 and Lei and Liu in 2018. As you can see from the summary table on the screen, both are pedagogical lists which focus on written academic collocations. The first list contains lexical collocations only, while the second list has both lexical and grammatical collocations. So, as teachers, if we want to choose one list to teach academic collocation, which one should we choose? Before making the decision, we may need to compare and evaluate the list. For comparison, we can compare lexical constituents and lexical coverage between the lists. For evaluation, we can apply Nations 2016 framework. I will talk about this in turn in more detail. First, lexical constituents comparison help us understand the extent to which two lists overlap and differ. As you can see from the figure here, the two lists share more than 1,200 items. More than half of the items in the ACL are in the overlap list, but only a small part of the AECL overlaps with the ACL. Now, let's move on to lexical coverage comparison. Lexical coverage refers to the proportion of words in the text covered by a particular word list. It is the most common criterion used in word list evaluation studies. You can see research of Coshead, Duck and Webb, Gertner and Davies, and Nation to know more about this method. Here you can see an example of lexical coverage comparison between the two links of academic collocations. In this table, the coverage of the AECL was broken down into separate coverage for lexical items and grammatical items to have better insight into the differences. The overall coverage over COCA academic corpus of the Lex AECL with significantly higher number of items is higher than that of the ACL. Interestingly, the gram AECL with fewer than 300 items 
account for almost the same coverage as the Lex AECL with more than 8,000 items. This indicates that the grammatical collocations are much more frequent than lexical collocations. It is also useful to look at the coverage changes at different cut up points to see how the additional coverage changes as more items are added. As we can see here, the most frequent 500 items are important because this group of small number of items accounts for the majority of the overall coverage of each list. Finally, Nation's 2016 framework appears to be the only available Wallix evaluation framework currently. This framework provides insight into every aspect of the leaks, from the target audience, purpose of the leaks, to the whole process of making and validating the leaks. The evaluation will help teachers, learners, and leaks users select the most suitable leaks for their needs. So, for the question of how to make a decision between the leaks, the answer is it depends on teaching and learning purposes. For example, if the focus of a language course is lexical academic collocations, then the leaks of Ackerman and Chen would be more suitable for teaching. But if grammatical academic collocations are the target, then we can make use of the leaks of Lei and Liu. It also depends on the length of the course. For short course, 100 or 500 most frequent collocations should be an appropriate learning target. For longer course, we can aim for 1,000 most frequent collocations or more. So the key message that I want to convey from this presentation is that by comparing and evaluating Wallix, we can look into the list closely and discover how to make the best and most informed use of those valuable resources. Let me remind you the three methods that I previously mentioned. First, lexical constituents comparison gives a first impression of how the leaks are similar and different. Lexical coverage then helps to point out the group of most frequent items which should be the initial target of learning. And finally, Evaluation Framework of Nation 2016 provides the overall picture of how the leaks were developed and validated. This is already the end of my presentation. I hope you find it useful and thank you very much for your watching.